So when word got out that Miley Cyrus was relaunching her music career, producer Mike Will offered up his latest song, We Can't Stop. Love that song. Three million copies later, the hit maker, who has also been tapped by Jay-Z and Kanye West, is ready to go solo. Joining us now is Wall Street Journal reporter Megan Bergen. So Megan, tell me, how influential was he in sort of shaping Miley's image? I think he was very instrumental. Um, he had originally written the song for Rihanna, um, had this sort of pop vocal in mind, but he was saying that when word got out that she wanted to kind of change some things up, he thought it would be a great fit. Um, there were elements of the song, we, we Can't Stop, that reminded him of her hit Party in the USA. Mm -hmm. but this was a little bit edgier, it sort of fit the uh, direction she was going in, and so he sat down with um, RCA's Peter Edge, who immediately thought of her as well, and then they ended up after doing We Can't Stop, spending 10 more months in the studio together, kind of re-engineering her album and pushing it in this new direction. And it's obviously created a lot of buzz, so I think he sort of has a magic touch. <laughs> oh, right, right, it was a huge buzz. I mean, what was, was twerking, was that his idea? <laughs> was, he, was he also doing some uh, choreography? I can't speak to that, <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but I think that they definitely have uh, sort of a sonic chemistry that is rare. And, you know, I think that putting him in the studio with her uh, was huge in her sort of coming into her own as this new sort of post-Disney artist. Interesting. Well, now he's going solo himself. What's yes. that all about? Why did he decide to go solo? He's been so successful with helping other artists. Does he really want to see what he can do? Yeah. And he I, wants to be in the limelight himself? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he's been um, incredibly successful and uh, un unusually successful. He's, his batting average, uh, as we talk about in the story, is very rare. Um, you know, he has all these platinum hits and he's, he's 24. He's only been doing this really for a few years. And so I think that it's smart for in, uh, industry executives to sort of encourage him to experiment with a solo career because, um, you know, while it is uncommon for producers to be successful uh, coming into their own, he really has a shot. He really has an ear for uh, pop, R&B, hip-hop music that, that's really going to go up the charts. So I think... Well, I was listening to 23 before yeah. coming on the show <laughs> today. Yeah. And, and, and that's his first single. And yes. so how successful is it so far? Um, so far, well, we spoke to Nielsen Soundscan, who said that um, so far it's about 830,000 uh, copies have sold, so shy of a million, which is great. Um, and of course, it helps that he has these buzzworthy collaborations. Um, the video that we're watching, that's I think about 128 million hits on YouTube, which is, what? I'm sure, encouraged by Miley's uh, image right now. But it's great buzz for him. Right, and mixtape. Tell mix me about tape. that. That's coming up too. So he's done a few mixtapes before. Um, this will probably be uh, the last of that collection, I'm guessing. Um, it's sort of a recap of some of his best collaborations of the past uh, year or so. It will include some new music. That comes out Monday, but it's really um, an appetite wetter for what's to come. I think 2014 for him will be a, more of a solo year. He has an album coming out, um, and you know there's talk of an instrumental album that's totally verse-free. So I think that this is sort of uh, a gateway to a solo image for him. Right. And he makes a lot of money per song, right? <laughs> a lot. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> it averages um, it averages about $100,000 a track, according to his management. Not bad. All right, Meg Berger, <laughs> thanks so much for Thank joining you. us.